Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Star Maid. Woot woot! Now, what the heck is that grapple? I didn't even attempt to grapple. Anyways, so what's going on here on here today? Today, it's going to be kind of a status -y update. Looks like I'm on the Star Squadron server here, which is awesome. Everything seems to be functional, so I wanted to kind of work on this ship. Been trying to render a couple videos, and you know, my video editing software is just, I don't know, it's having a hard time lately, and I have no clue why. Nothing's changed on the computer. I didn't get a new one. I wasn't able to upgrade anything you know, yet, because it just costs money, and we don't have that kind of fundage. And I don't know, it's just, for whatever reason, it's just been a challenge. So, here we are with the ship. Now, we ran into an issue with the blocks, I think, last time. Uh, and my internet's been kind of crappy, so hopefully this is stable enough to record. I guess you'll see, because it'll be edited and all the, all the other fun stuff. So, I need some gray hulls, right? But I think they're out of gray advanced armor. I think that's what I was using up here. If I go cargo, I think that's what I was using. Where are we here? Let me try and find it. See, gray advanced armor. So we've got 61 blocks left of that. So we kind of can use it, but you know it's going to run out, right? Let's see. So we need to... So you're going to come up here in this area. One, two, three. I actually want this one more up. I don't think this is the right height. So actually, the reality would be then, I guess... Is we can get rid of this. We grab, but we grab the grate, and I think what we'll do is we'll build this one more high. I think. I think this would be good, and we'll keep where this is, how it is, because I think that works. Because we want this kind of closer in, anyways. So if, for example, this, if this is the now the roof now, let's see, let's take a, let's take a look. <laughs> Oh man, me and words, me and words. So maybe just kind of something like this. One, two, three. I know I could use the symmetry plane, but I kind of like to just place the blocks and somehow through that process. So if we come up here, okay, so let's just imagine core room here. Okay, we come up the stairs here, go upstairs here. Here will be, there'll be storage on, on each side of us here. Yeah, that's what's happening. There'll be storage on either side of us here and then straight forward we'll go up here there'll be stuff here there'll be probably power capacitors probably a whole bunch of these things and i'll go right up to here and it'll be like kind of like a wall of them i think like this like so all right i think that's what we'll do we'll have a wall of these up here i think it'll look kind of neat all right for us to walk into let's just kind of place the blocks up here yeah, so you'll come walking into this, and then we'll come up into here, and maybe we'll go forward, maybe forward a bit, and then it's going to go up, and then the, then there'll be an observation deck up here. I think that's kind of how it's going to be. So let's place some more of these bad boys. I should probably turn the symmetry plane on, but let's just do this. I was thinking if I should have the floors like too thick, like too... But then I thought, no, no, that's fine. We can put lights into here, right? So we can kind of do a light potentially like right here. And let's actually use the black lights. I like how the black lights look. Just because they're darker. I don't know, I just like it. It just it looks that much better. Yeah, this will work quite nicely, actually. And then we could have lighting kind of along this way. Maybe go a little bit further. This will also be kind of like protection as well for the ship so we're kind of working on the interior but okay and then we'll have it go up probably what three blocks and then straight out and then th this is the observation deck right and then we'll kind of you know you probably remove this hard edge probably curve it up because so i'm going to add some curves into the ship instead of making a square i've kind of changed my mind on the squarish look it'll be kind of squarish up in here but here it'll be kind of curved I'm going. I'm hoping the design will will work. I've been thinking about about it a lot lately. I really like these back thruster pieces here. So you can see it in the the sun glaze there. Just how it just. I love that. 
Now I thought about doing the too long at the end here instead, but I thought this kind of made a different look to it. I don't know. I kind of like that look to it. It's pretty cool. I'm quite amazed with that. I also like how I made the glow with the design in it. I think that is cool. I wanted that effect. I really like that. It gives it that look that I'm I was looking for. <laughs> somehow magically it worked out and so yeah so anyways i'm gonna cut to some music here and yeah who's done you know, the music is done by a fellow star squadron fellow you know uh, he goes by was it oja noel so definitely check out his channel it's in the description below in the list of star squadron members and yeah and so definitely check him out i might put a link in the the video here <laughs> This is why I'm reminding myself with this. So I apologize if this bugs some people, but oh well. This is my hobby. So yeah, so let's get on to it.
Well, welcome back. Hopefully you've enjoyed all of that. I'm running out of blocks. That's terrible. I only have 370 of the advanced armor, and these was even, and this was even stuff I think I've even crafted a little bit. So we obviously need to go store hopping. We got some shops here. So we need to install a jump drive on this thing, and then, oh, and a dock for our cargo ship. So can we do that? So we need to create, not the rail docker, but the actual rail rails. And yeah, so let's put the one of these things on top, probably just like this, like so. Do that, and then. Yeah, then there should be a docker on this, the bottom of this, somewhere. How far out do I want this to go? Because we don't want it too far out, because we kind of want it slanted up, right? So, yeah, let's just put the docker bottom here. I think we're going to put it near the front, kind of in the good old classic place, about here. And then let's put in a rail docker. So if that's the front of the ship, I want it like that. Bang, boom, bada, bing. There's a rail docker. We'll have to put a camera down there so we can see. But yeah, but here we go. So what I'm going to do now is we need to install our jump drive. Where where should we put this? And how much of a jump drive do we need? I'm not even sure how this, this jump drive stuff really operates. So let us find the jump drive. Filter block name. There we go, jump drive computer. Not sure why I wasn't showing up before, but we already have it. Okay, so where are we going to position this bad boy? Probably in our main control room here. Jump drive. So, there's a computer on it. I think we can face this in any direction. So let's actually put this computer like that, maybe. And then we're just going to go C to select. We're going to go 7. Now we're going to place these somewhere that makes it relevant. Can I turn these around? Uh, I was hoping I could get the the way that that it flows. I was hoping I could get it the other way, but that's fine. This will work. Now I'm not sure how the jump drive stuff is supposed to work. I don't see anywhere any stats on like how many of these we need to power the ship so we're just going to build a column all the way along this top row here because I think it would look oh come on I think it would look cool and it's just a neat effect so now if we take a peek inside here yeah see now all along the top you got this kind of conduit going I think that's kind of a neat look where are we? Here we go. I think that's kind of a neat look. That's really cool how that looks. Okay, so that's exciting. So I wonder how that will will affect stuff. So if we hop out of our ship, let's actually grab our cargo handler thing here. Let's do actually dock it up, and then we'll call it an episode. And I think I'm, I think what I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to do some some shopping some I'm gonna go buy some blocks and whatnot so let's hop into this thing perfect okay uh, let's get out of build mode where are we here we are now where's the top oh there'll be two rail dockers because I was in symmetry symmetry oh that means did I put two what if I put two jump drives we'll have to take a, a peek at that so let's see here oh stop just charging up my jump drive Okay, and let's bang. Okay, we're docked. That is awesome. So now our storage is on here. And then now we share the power and everything, I think, as well, which is pretty amazing. And we also have some extra thrusters. Awesome. And now we have this massive ship to haul around. Let's kind of take a quick peek at this thing. Okay, so we can move it. It's pretty agile. Let's zoom out of the camera this way okay so let's see let's take a let's take the quick spin of this thing 
so far it handles exactly how I would expect it to handle nice okay and now if we go G yes jump drive so we'll put the docker there put the actually let's put the jump drive and the docker back over here see how quickly this charges yeah we're gonna have to probably put more on there I'm not sure what controls the speed of this so if I put another row of those warp drives I think it might be a little bit quicker at least I hope so because this is a long ass time but yeah but thank you everybody for watching hopefully you've enjoyed this episode now we have our ship kinda semi-operational it's definitely not combat worthy <laughs> definitely not combat worthy because I can't shoot back as soon as I can shoot back then we're gonna kinda do some combat testing after we blueprint it of course or sorry before we blueprint it so that way if it gets damaged heavily then there's a way of rebuilding the ship and that wasn't too bad of a charge but yeah but in the next episode I think we're gonna carry on building but I'll be buying my stuff in between the episodes and I'll see you all in the next one bye bye